this is such a cute place. We're in Logan's Candies, which has been around since the 1930s. And take a look here. So they have some of the typical candies that we're all used to, fruit chews and things like that. But look at this one. It's called the Ginormous Jawbreaker. This thing is absolutely massive. This store has more than 700 candy options. Take a look here. They make some of these in-house, more than 200 of them made in-house, all those different fudge options behind me. Jeffrey Rowley is the owner, and he's been working here, guys, since he was 12 years old. So I think he's the expert when it comes to candy making. Let me squeeze over here by him and see what he's working on this morning. What you working on, Jerry? Well, we're making some of our candy canes. This is going to be our candy cane pillows here. We're making green apple flavor, so I'm adding a little bit of color to it. This is going to be the white part of the candy cane and then in about uh, 20 minutes or so they're going to turn on those little pillows that we have right over there so just adding a little bit of color and add a little bit of flavor here in just a minute and then we'll put it on the hook and start pulling it all out this so this must be so much fun for you is it like working in Willy Wonka's chocolate factory oh it's the best it's a lot of fun <laughs> I mean people, everybody who doesn't love candy right so right. and people love to come in we get people watching uh, you know of course tasting the candy and things like that but when you try warm one of these pillows or candy canes nothing better than that it's delicious this is amazing I was just telling folks that you've been working here since you were 12 so I'm sure you have a great knowledge of interior and what it's like to be here, work here, live here. Tell us about the town. What makes it great? Sure, sure. We've been in downtown since 1933. Ontario has been great to us here. We're working on second and third generation families coming and watch us. Wow. Uh, we've been in this location here since 1953. Uh, but no, Ontario is a great place. There's all kinds of great things in downtown, all, all throughout Ontario, and we're glad, glad to be a part of it. So we love Ontario down here. So. Awesome. So at 19 years old, you and your now wife take over the store. How did that come about? Yeah, so, in, uh, so I started working here when I was 12 in yeah. 1974. We took over in 1982. Uh, I've been working here. I was in school at the time. I was at Chafee College taking some business courses. I used this uh, candy store to write some of my papers, and I started thinking, I think I may be able to put this together and make this work for us. So wow. we took it over in 1982, and we've run it ever since. So. What's cool is that you're this business with all this history, but you were just telling me you guys have almost 8 million followers on TikTok now watching you make this candy. What does it feel like to still be relevant today? Oh, it's, it's amazing. It's something my daughter did. She put us on. She's been in charge of our social wow. media for years. She said, Dad, one day, let's, let's try TikTok. We tried a video out, and our second video hit 25 million views in less than 72 hours, and it was just off from there. So it's been amazing. Wow. What are some of your favorites in the store? Oh, I mean, the chocolates, you know, the chocolates, the fudges, the peanut brittle. Uh, my favorite thing to make is definitely candy canes because it's so visual. People get to watch it and yeah. sample it, and they actually get to shape one and bend one. That's amazing. But, I mean, it's all fun, making fudges, peanut brittle. It's just making candy. What could be better than that, right? So Awesome. And so the pillow candy that you're talking about is just a version of peppermints. Uh, yeah, we actually do uh, about uh, 14 different flavors. So we do candy canes in the shape of a candy cane that are peppermint flavor. But we do uh, the pillows in green apple, strawberry cheesecake, uh, pink lemonade, uh, um, just a, a rash of different flavors and colors for different holidays and things like that. So, in fact, we try to do something for every holiday. We do red, white, and blue with Memorial Day coming up. We'll do some red, white, and blue, 4th of July as well. Uh, we do shapes, bunny shapes, uh, Valentine eggs, uh, eggs for Easter and things like that. So we try to cover all the holidays with our you candy. Do so. everything. All right, now I know you put out some different candies down here for me so why don't you take me down there sure. you take a break i will i'll stop this for a second here all right and uh, while down this all, there, how do you eat this ginormous jawbreaker uh, that one right that is a big jawbreaker there but that's going to be massive. one lick at a time yes that's a tough one to eat but kids will come in and buy these things and they will just start licking and i'm sure it must take them days and days so say, that's when the parents want some free time right you give them this for a couple of hours okay so what did you lay out here oh, for me some of our chalkins and things like that this is the vanilla fudge here oh, with walnuts we make this was one of my favorites. yeah i so gotta give that a try what else is there where i eat this i've got our candy canes right here that we do at christmas time this is a cherry flavor this is peppermint i've got some of the turtles i've got some toffee i've got uh, um we make a caramel s'more which is a layer of caramel a layer of we make our own marshmallow here and it's amazing you make the marshmallows here our marshmallows here we do different shapes for different holidays bunnies eggs hearts things like <clears throat> excuse me things like that I've got chalk covered pretzels i've got the, this some more here that was caramel marshmallow dipped on top of a graham cracker we call caramel some more and it is amazing so i just love how excited you get talking about this do you eat candy every day uh, oh yeah absolutely i would like to say i don't the key here is stay busy so you don't eat a lot of candy but it's very tough when you have a after lunch it's like okay what do i need i need a little taste of something oh. i gotta eat something so yeah we definitely eat more sugar than the average family so yes. Yummy. All right, so guys, you got to come visit. We are downtown in Ontario on B and Euclid, and they open Monday through Saturday at 10 a.m. They're only closed on Sundays. You got to come eat because I am going to uh, send it back to you guys. So a, we can make a TikTok. You know I love that. And B, <laughs> we can keep eating. I'll see you I'm later. so jealous of this. Does he have toffee there too? Homemade toffee. <laughs> are you putting in an order? Just homemade toffee. They're there. asking for. Oh, we do toffee. We do English toffee, <laughs> we have pecan toffee, and we also have peanut butter toffee. All three are very delicious. Wow. So peanut amazing. butter, please. Peanut butter. They do. Peanut butter. I got you, girl. I got you, girl. <laughs> Jamie, what do you want? Oh, well, I, I like it all. You, you pick.
It was a little surprise. Okay. All right. Thank you, Sheba. All right. <laughs>